NBC 15 News at 11 starts now. Now at 11, Mother Nature packs a punch over southern Wisconsin, and more rainfall is in the forecast today. Plus, tense words from Hillary Clinton for Republican presidential candidate Carly Fiorina after her attacks on Clinton at a recent debate. And a unique way one principal is getting students excited to show up for school. Hello and happy Badger Football Friday. I'm Christine Belport. And I'm Ashley Matthews. Several areas saw some heavy rain last night and some may have to be prepared for another round today. Meteorologist Brian Dukes joins us now with our finally Friday and that all-important weekend forecast. Oh yeah, hey guys, uh, lots of rain last night, some severe weather uh, to go along with that. And while we're seeing mainly dry weather now, look down to the south and west. A large area of showers and storms now moving into southern Iowa, and that is all slated to work its way into southern Wisconsin. Now I think we're okay for several hours, nothing to worry about as we head through much of the afternoon. If we're lucky, may even see a few peaks of sun. I think as we head into the evening though, that's when we will be concerned for our next chance of rain. And after last night's heavy rain, we do have a flash flood watch for uh, much of the area, basically Madison and points southward. That will go into effect at 7 o'clock tonight through 7 a.m. on your Saturday as we are talking the potential of an additional maybe one or two inches of rainfall as we head through tonight. Right now, temperatures upper 60s and low 70s, as I mentioned. Think we're dry for much of the afternoon. It'll be this evening and towards sunset that we track that next chance of rain. And I'll have more on that, though, coming up in just a few minutes. Guys? Brian, thank you. And as Brian was just saying, more rain may be in store for many areas today. Some residents are still in cleanup mode. Take a look at this house in Wanakee that caught fire after getting hit by lightning. It happened around 7 last night during the storms. Neighbors helped the homeowners get out safely. The fire department says the rain actually helped contain that fire. Now, this incredible picture from one of our viewers, Rick, shows the flames and firefighters dumping water on the home's roof. Now, despite the storms, hundreds walked to raise awareness of an assault on a Madison bike path. A woman was brutally sexually assaulted and left for dead last weekend. The group held a moment of silence at the location where the woman was assaulted. Meantime, police have released a sketch of a person of interest in the case. They say they are looking into every lead they receive. The sketch is now on an electronic billboard on the westbound Beltline near Rimrock Road. In our Decision 2016 coverage now, Hillary Clinton is hitting back at GOP presidential candidate Carly Fiorina. Fiorina, the only woman in the Republican race, lit up the debate stage partly by targeting Clinton, the most famous woman in American politics. NBC's Andrea Mitchell has more on that. Oh, I'm just thrilled to be with you. Hillary Clinton in New Hampshire firing back Great at the Republicans back. for their debate. Lots of bickering, lots of personal, you know, insults, attacks. It was Carly Fiorina who had the sharpest edge, challenging Clinton over the controversial videos released by an activist group purporting to expose Planned Parenthood. I dare Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, to watch these tapes, watch a fully formed fetus on the table, its heart beating, its legs kicking, while someone says we have to keep it alive to harvest its brain. Clinton responded on CNN. So I think we ought to be very clear that Planned Parenthood has served uh, to provide health care, necessary health care for millions of women. And in a letter to Fiorina, the women's health group told her, your claims are completely false, claiming the videos were heavily edited and that they charge only to cover costs of providing fetal tissues to medical researchers. But Fiorina is standing by her scale, comments. She says all of us are equal in the eyes of God. Fiorina has cast herself as Clinton's chief Republican critic on the debate stage, hammering Clinton's record as Secretary of State. Mrs. Clinton, if you want to stump a Democrat, ask them to name an accomplishment of Mrs. Clinton's. If anybody's interested, you know, there's a long list about what I have done, and uh, I'm very proud of it. But with Clinton now trailing Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders in New Hampshire, she's spending three days trying to shore up her base, women voters across the state. Oh, it's great to talk to you. Thank you all very much. And that was Andrea Mitchell reporting. Now, Hillary Clinton could face another challenge, Joe Biden, who is still deciding whether or not to enter the race. Happening today, a Kentucky trooper killed in the line of duty is being laid to rest at this hour. Trooper Joseph Ponder, a rookie on the job for only nine months, was killed after a high-speed chase Sunday night. 
responder was conducting a traffic stop when the suspect fled and later fired shots into the trooper's car. The suspect was later shot and killed Monday morning after a brief standoff. Ponder was a Navy veteran and only 31 years old. A friend of accused Charleston church shooter Dylan Roof has been indicted on charges of concealing information related to the shootings. 21-year-old Joey Meek is accused of lying to authorities and failing to report a crime. Meek has told authorities Roof stayed with him before the June 17th shooting of nine black church members. He's also reportedly told the Associated Press Roof drunkenly complained that, quote, blacks were taking over the world and someone needed to do something about it for the white race. Now to an NBC 15 recall alert. A choking hazard has prompted the recall of thousands of water bottles sold exclusively at Target stores. 178,000 Zach Designs 26-ounce water bottles are being recalled in a variety of colors. The inner plastic straw can break. There have been seven reports of children spitting out plastic fragments while using the water bottles. Target stores sold the water bottles June and July of this year for about $10. Contact Zach Designs to receive a free replacement cap with straw. An Arkansas assistant principal is making the start of each school day a little easier for students and parents as well. Aaron Nolan has this story for us today. Brake lights, orange cones, and traffic jams. Three workday problems promoting frustration. And that's the norm for many parents as they drop their kids off at schools. But with a daily song and an occasional jig. He is just a larger than life character. An assistant principal is hoping to change frustration into elation. They had a rough morning, I didn't want to eat their breakfast, so we try to make them smile and laugh. And if the students cutting a rug before the bell rings is any indication, this morning musical drop-off is working. Kids have fallen in love with the idea. Like they like to, they love that whipping nay nay, and they want me to play it every day, and they want to dance every day. Just lifts everybody's spirit. It just makes us have a great start to our day. And I think the parents just so appreciate the family feel. And so each and every school day morning, Mr. Logan will continue his tunes. It makes their day and it makes mine to see them smiling and happy and they want to give out hugs in the morning, they want to high five in the morning. Because after all, when you see a dancing and singing assistant principal, there's really only one option, smile. I don't, I don't do bad days. Every day is a good day. God love you, Mr. Logan. I love that. That is so cute. Just what a great attitude, too. You know, I'm not going to have any bad days. You know what? Put that in your mind every day. Yeah. Logan is in his second year as the assistant principal. And yes, in case you're wondering, the school does have a pretty good sound system outside, so they can all <laughs> dance around like that and sing.